You're listening to Good Morning Gwinnett, a division of Noise Media Network, hosted by Audrey Bell Kearney, sharing stories about people and places around beautiful Gwinnett County and beyond. Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Southern Living at its best. Good morning, good morning, good morning, all my Gwinnishas out there in Gwinnett Land, all of my friends around the world. It's a beautiful day here in Gwinnett County, 71 degrees, going up to a high of 79, so that is lovely. I don't know, maybe a chance of some showers, 8% chance, not much, so not that much chance of showers, but some but some chance, just chance, there is. You know, we live in Georgia, so that is to be expected. It can rain today and be beautiful at the same time so that's to be expected but anyway hope you guys are having a wonderful wonderful day today is tuesday may the 20 what is it may 29th may 30th i'm behind the day um listen we're going to be talking about video marketing i'm going to be talking about a platform that i've been using now five almost five years um, it's probably been a little bit longer than that um that i've been using to help me build my brand and i want to talk about that because I love this platform and I think that people don't talk about it enough and I think it's because it's not set up like YouTube and so we're going to be talking about video marketing but we're going to be talking about this one platform that you can get a lot of traffic for your videos but you got to have an account so I'm going to be talking about that but before I get ready to talk about that you know what I got to do first I got to tell you what your national holidays are I got to tell you what your horoscope is saying and then I'll come back and tell you all of that stuff so that's what we're going to do first we're going to kick it off with what we all Always do first for today. Kick it up with the national holidays and see what's happening over there. Um, and then we're going to come back and I'm going to do the horoscopes. And then after that, we're going to talk business. Um, because I got, I want to tell y'all about this because it's, it's really, it's really cool actually. All right. So today is Tuesday, May the 30th. It's also international hug your cat day. So if you got a cat, show your cat some love. It's Loomis day. I have no idea what Loomis is, but I guess it's some kind of technology. Um, it's also national creativity day. I like that. That's every day for me. I love it. I love being creative. Like I woke up this morning, I got a good night's sleep and I woke up this morning with a million ideas. So that was all good. Um, national e-bike day, national e-bike day. Y'all know I got a bike that I haven't rode yet. It's still brand new. I need to take my, you know what? As a matter of fact, I'm going to, it's a three wheel bike, like a big tricycle. And I bought it about three years ago. Now it's been about three years ago cause I wanted to exercise and, um, my husband put it together and it doesn't work. So I, you know, we try to ride the bike and I thought maybe it was me. So then I gave it to my daughter to try to ride. And next thing I know she was pushing it back up the streets. So it doesn't work. Um, I need to take it to a bike shop. And I think my challenge has been because the back, the back of the bike is so big. I didn't think it would fit in my car, but I'm going to see can I fit my bike in my car this week and take it to the shop and get it fixed. But anyway, that's not an e-bike. That's just a regular bike with three wheels. But today is National E-Bike Day. Today is also National Hole in My Bucket Day. I have no idea what that means, but it's Hole in My Bucket Day. It's also um, National Jennifer Day. So shout out to all the Jennifers out there. If your name is Jennifer, shout out to you. It's National Mint Julep Day. I've heard of mint julep before. I have no idea what that is. I guess it's some kind of drink, I guess. Um, it's National Sophia Day. National Sophia Day. So shout out to all the all of the ladies out there with the name of Sophia. And it's National Multiple Sclerosis Day Awareness. So shout out to all of you who are living with multiple sclerosis. We wish you nothing but life full of love, joy, health, and peace. So I, I've heard that's pretty it's pretty rough um, disease. I, I have a friend who has it. And, um, one of the things that she always says is that it makes her foot go to sleep. So that's a little, and she drives sometimes. So that's a little scary, but, um, she's doing okay. You know, she's pulling through with it. She's pulling through. All right. Those are your national holidays for the day. Now let's keep this train rolling. Let's get on with these horoscopes brought to you by noted astrologer, Michael Thyssen for today, Tuesday, taco Tuesday. I, I gotta be careful how I say that. I heard Shaquille O'Neal say somebody trademark. Was it Shaquille that said it? Somebody said they trademark Taco Tuesday. And I'm like, really? Anyway, so I don't know if that's an infringement or not, but whatever. It's uh, today, May 30th. All right, we're going to kick it off like we always do. And that is with Aries. Don't get involved in idle chatter that will hurt your position. Make alternate plans just in case you need to make a career shift. If you can put some work into your home improvements, you should. All right, look, don't be over there chat, chatting chatting up about anything, right? 
It's like stuff that doesn't really matter. That's low energy stuff. And not only that, it's going to hurt your position, Aries. So be careful who you talk to and be careful what you talk about. If it's not worth the conversation, then don't have it. I'm just trying to help you out. That's all I'm saying. Taurus, sudden changes regarding your colleagues may surprise you. Secret enemies will be eager to spread rumors about you. Avoid any petty ego confrontations that could lead to estrangement if you aren't careful. All right, look, you got secret enemies all around you. They about to spread some rumors about you. Because here's the thing, you got to, you, you, and, and then it's going to be, a, uh, it's a petty ego confrontation that's going to take place. You don't want all that. You know, clean your energy, cleanse your energy, Taurus. Pay attention to the people around you because everybody that's smiling your face is not your friend. Ooh, let me say that again because somebody need to hear it twice. Everybody that smile in your face is not your friend. My mother used to tell me that. And, 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 trust me when I tell you that is so true. I don't care how nice they are. Everybody that smiles in your face, baby, they ain't your friends. So watch your back, Taurus, because they, they, they're secretly your enemies and they're trying to spread rumors, which is going to piss you off and send you into a confrontation. And then it's going to lead to estrangement. So just be careful. That's all. That's all I'm saying. Gemini, take a close close look at contracts and agreements that have been that have been offered to you. Spend time with youngsters today. Minor health problems will cause setbacks if you haven't taken proper care of yourself. All right, look, take a real close look at them contracts and agreements. I'm talking about real, 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 real close, right, Gemini? Because here's the thing. Um, you don't want to sign your life away. And if you read the contract and you don't understand what the heck you're reading, then consult a professional. That's all I'm saying, because what you don't want to do is sign something that you really don't understand. And later it comes back to bite your butt. Here's the other thing, too. If you know it's so long, you don't want to read it. Consult the professional. Let them skim through it because a professional can go right through that thing. I made the mistake of not doing that. And I paid dearly for it. Not reading the contract. Paid dearly. I'll never do that again. Mm -mm, Won't do it. And I'm still paying dearly for it. So don't do that. All right. Leo. Um, no, what am I talking about? I don't skipped, I don't skipped all over cancer, cancer, spend some time by yourself to avoid conflicts with family members. Take advantage of your attributes and lure your mate up and lure the mate of your choice. Partnerships may be plentiful. All right. Look at you. Look at you with your old attribution self. Take advantage of your attributes. What are they cancer? Take advantage of those. It's going to lure your mate of choice. That sounds sexy, right? Because somebody, somebody has made the wrong choice and they's like, Oh my God, how did I end up here? How did I get to this person? How did I, how did I, well, you, you, you chose the wrong one or you let the wrong one choose you. In the meantime, you can change that. You can change that. Take advantage of them attributes and get the made of your choice and partnerships will be plentiful. Yes. Yes. Cancer sounds good for you, right? Y'all know I hear so many stories about singles in this world and it's so funny because I don't know if I would be able to date if I was single right now. Cause I don't have the temperament or the patience for like nonsense. You know what I'm saying? I just don't, and I hear like, I just hear people, I see crazy things that happen in relationships. People be trying to date and, oh my God, it's just, I don't think I would be a good date, dater in this time. Thank God I'm married. Leo, don't let situations get out of hand. Your ability to relate will close the generation gap. Your partner may blame you for everything. All right, look Virgo, not Virgo, look Leo, your partner is trying to blame you for everything, but here's the thing, I'm going to tell you to remind them you know what? It's two people in this relationship and everything is not my fault. You have to say that sometimes. It's two people in this relationship and everything is not my fault because not sometimes you are you do things because they do things. And then when it comes around, it looks like it's your fault. But you're reacting to something that they've already done. Let them know. Listen, this it's two of us in this relationship. We both share blame in this problem. You're not gonna put this all on me. I'm just saying. I'm just that that's what I would do. You're not going to blame me for everything because it's two of us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, Virgo, don't be too quick to sign documents. Show what a dedicated person you can be. It might be time to do some some of those chores at home. All right, look, again, Virgo, if you don't know what the heck you're signing, don't sign it. Don't be so quick and willy-nilly to go ahead and sign a contract. You don't know what that thing is. Get it looked at. Have someone take somebody that understands contracts better than you. Have them take a look at it so they can read between the dotted lines and give you the accurate information so you can make an informed decision. That was a whole, I felt real, I felt very professional saying all of that right there. <laughs> ah, but for real though, for real Virgo, don't just sign the, on the dotted line. Read the contract and if you really don't know what you're reading, consult a professional. All right. 
All right. All right. I'm going to go to a song. I'll be right back after the song to bring you more of the horoscopes brought to you by noted astrologer Micah Thais. And stay tuned. Horoscopes brought to you by noted astrologer Mike Thyssen. We're going to pick it up with Libra. Get busy trying to make more money off a good conversation and a nice, soothing lunch. Your boss may not be in the best of moods today. All right. Listen, your boss is not in the best of moods, so you might really need to get busy making some money because you might not have a job. Well, they, they may be just in a bad mood today. It may not last for long. But in the meantime, get you a side hustle, baby. Figure out what your side hustle is. It's some side hustles. It's so many side hustles out there right now, y'all. Just pick one. I, it, it's over. So, for me, the way I relax at night, instead of watching reality TV, I watch reality business TV on YouTube. And when I tell you people have come up with some of the most, some of the most creative ways to make money it is nuts. So listen, if you look, you're if you're looking for a way to leave it to make some extra money, baby. There are ways out there for you. So get busy. Pick something you're gonna like, though. That's all I'm gonna say. Cause it's it's a lot of them. Stickers. You can make some stickers. You can make some mugs. You can design some shoes. Oh, just pick one. You can do so many things. So very many. All right, Scorpio. Do not overspend on entertainment. You can find that children will be a handful. You can have a working relationship with your children if you exercise patience and understanding of the dilemmas they face. Don't jump the gun. They may find 
you may find yourself getting angry at the wrong person. All right, slow, slow your roll, Scorpio. Slow down, slow down. You about to jump the gun and get mad at the wrong person. And then you got to go back and try to fix it. So slow down and get all the information first and still try not to get angry. You know, just slow down and get the information, then make an informed decision about what you want to do. All right. Sagittarius, you will enjoy events that lean towards theater, arts, or music today. Your mate could get, in, get, your mate could get on your nerves if he or she backs you into an emotional corner or puts restriction on your time. Get involved in fitness programs that will bring you in contact with new friends. All right, your nerve, you listen, your mate gonna get on your nerves today. Here's the thing when they get on your nerve, you go to the movies. Go see The Little Mermaid. <coughs> go see The Little Mermaid. Go watch you. Go watch something fun, right? I'm gonna, I get sometime this week, I'm, I gotta get to The Little Mermaid. Sometime this week. I was supposed to go yesterday, but I just didn't have the time. Capricorn. If they're do, if they're too demanding, re- reconsider this union. You will get along well with your colleagues today. You will have the discipline to make changes you feel are necessary. All right, look, listen here. If they're if they are putting way too many demands on you, you might want to rethink that thing. If that relationship is strained because they want you to do everything above and beyond what you signed up to do in the relationship, yeah, you might want to rethink that thing. If those demands are unreasonable and they make you feel uncomfortable, you might want to rethink that thing. I'm just saying, Capricorn, rethink it. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Don't lock yourself into something that's going to make you miserable. Do not do that. I'm just saying. Aquarius, be sure to find out all you can before you commit to anything. You are best to sit back and think it through rather than add to the ranting and the raving. Avoid overloading your plate. All right, look, before you commit, get all the details, Aquarius. Don't just jump out there and say yes and raise your hand to do it. And then you get the details like, ah, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, take your time. Get all of the details before you commit to anything. That is the best way to do this thing. All right. That's what you want to do. You want to stop for a second, get, get everything you need to know. Then you can make a better decision. If that looks like something you want to do, then go ahead and do it. In the meantime, avoid overloading your plate. I know you want to do everything. You want to help everybody. But guess what happens? You do too many things. You help no one, especially yourself. You overload the plate. Now you're stressed out and tired, mad at yourself because you said yes to too many things. It's okay to say no. No is the most powerful two letter word in our vocabulary. Use it if you need to. Do not say yes to everything. Everything should not have a yes. I had to learn that the hard way. And I tell you, I think I've learned it even more this year. I look at things that I'm saying yes to, I'm like, yeah, I'm not doing that. I used to, I started doing it a while ago, back when people told me no about my dog company. I started then, but I still had that thing where, okay, I'm going to help everybody. Yeah, I'm really good on saying no. And something happened yesterday that made me realize, you know what? Stop trying to be a goody two-shoes to everybody. That's what it said to me that a situation happened yesterday where someone blatantly just said, you know, some crazy stuff that wasn't true. And it's always people that you try to help out and be there for. And I was like, I'm like, really? And I normally don't say stuff about anything. I'm like, whatever. That, that person's crazy. This is what I know. That person's nuts anyway. But this is kind of ticked me off yesterday. And then I realized just stop trying to be a goody two shoes. Cause this, that way they can, whatever, when they say that you didn't help, then they be telling the truth. How about that? So stop trying to be a goody two shoes, you know, always trying to be there, always trying to come to the rescue because people don't appreciate that. And it's sad, but true. Sad. And then the minute they have an opportunity that they create, because it's not even really an opportunity to kick you in your back, they will kick you because their life is a mess and they want to blame somebody. So they blame the person that always have the back. It just happens that way. Here's the thing. How about I don't have your back anymore? Now blame me. Then you'll be correct. So I said all that to say, Aquarius, don't listen. Don't over your, overload your plate trying to help folks. Just don't. I'm just saying. All right. Last but not least, my fellow fish Pisces, your own business on the side could ease your financial stress. Yes, fish. Yes. Don't hesitate. Don't hesitate to sign up for creative courses or physical fitness programs. <laughs> Ooh, I'm leaning I'm leaning towards the creative courses on that one. Real estate ventures will be to your advantage. Oh my God, fish, we got it going on today, baby. I like to hear these kind of horrors because first of all, um, you're thinking about starting your own business, stick around because we're going to be talking business right after this song because I want to talk to you about a platform that I use and been using for about five years now. I think it's a little bit more, but I know definitely five years. 
2003. No, no, no. I've been using this platform for, no, I've been using this platform for 10 years, not five years, 10 years. Um, for 10 years, because I started out in 2013 or 14, nine or 10 years. Anyway, um, think about starting your own small business on the side. Now, remember this, it is a business, which means you're going to have to put in a lot of time, especially if you don't have the money to put into the business. So to make it work, it's a business, right? Even if you, listen, if you're crafty, then create some crafts and go to the crafts thing and sell them. That, that's what you do. That's extra. That's a side hustle for real. A small business means you put it, you lock in the business. It's a business. You register the name, you get your EIN number, you set up a website, all of that. That's business. If you making some extra money on the side, it's just a side hustle. Well, you create some crafts and you go to the craft store. You bake some goods and you go to the farmer's market. You grow some vegetables and you go to the farmer's market. You paint some pictures and you go sell your pictures on the street. That's a side hustle. A business is very formal. So think about that before you start. Do you want to start a side? Do you want to start a small business? Or do you want to start a side hustle? Now, a side hustle could eventually turn into a small business, but you have to decide how much time, energy, and money, and commitment you're going to put to this business or this thing before you decide what it's going to be. If you know you can only put an hour or a week to it, it's a hustle. It ain't even a side hustle. It is a side. <laughs> Let me say that again. If you can't devote but an hour a week to your to your thing, it, that ain't even a side hustle, baby. That's just a side. That's all. That's all it is. If you want to start a small business, trust me when I tell you, it's going to take at least 20 hours a week, at least, to get that baby rolling. And if you're going to start a side hustle, you can kind of cut that in half, right? Cut it in half, spend some time doing your whatever it is you're going to do, and then sell it. Make it body butter, make some body butters up, find a craft show. Body butters, body butters melt at a craft show, especially if it's hot. You might get you a cooler to keep that in. All right, that's all the horoscopes I got for you today. I'll be back again tomorrow at 10 a.m. with more of the horoscopes. I'm going to be talking business and specifically video marketing on the other side of this song. So stay tuned because you don't want to miss what I have to say. I'll be right back. Time goes by and yet I wonder Are you and me still the same? Are you still loving the game? I know I don't. You cast your spell and I went under I know the laughter and the pain Will I ever love again? I don't know if I can take it anymore. Uh huh. So I stay here and hold my heart when you walk out the door. Oh, made a promise to myself and I repeat it in my head. Set your mind free. Set your mind free. No one knows what I've been through, but this is the end of me and you. Set your mind free. Uh, made a promise to myself. I've been 
back. It's your girl, Audrey Bell Kearney. Listen, we're going to be talking video marketing today. So here's the thing, y'all. So I've been doing video marketing since 2005. It's so crazy because I had a show back in, I started doing video back in 2005. I was on TV. I had a TV show when I was in North Carolina called um, Women in Business Today. So that was 2005. Uh, 2004, 2004, 2005. I had a show. I was on regular TV called Women in Business Today, and I would go into the TV station. And I would invite guests into the show, and they would come in, and we would do an interview style show, right? And then 2006, YouTube launched, and I took my show. Then I had a show called Sister Inc., and I put it on. No, YouTube launched in 2005. 2006, I discovered YouTube, and I started putting content on YouTube. Now, here's the thing. I didn't have a clue about what the future looked like. I was just like, okay, I'm going to put my stuff on this platform. Had I known to follow the path of YouTube from 2006, YouTube was one year old when I started. One, it started in 2005. I started in 2006. I did not have the foresight to see what it was, what it would become and what I could become because of it. I had no idea. I had the cam. Listen, I had the little camera. I had the little flip video camera that you would just flip out and take. It was so cute, y'all. I had the little, it was a digital camera. It was called a, was it called a flip camera? I think it was called a flip camera. I had, I think it was called, I had the little camera. It was a tiny, it was about the size of my iPhone. It might've been a little bit smaller and you would flip it out and you would take videos and then you would, it had a USB on it and you would plug it into your computer and upload the video to YouTube. I was doing this back then. People that, People that started back there with me, they know exactly what I'm talking about. I had a white one. I got it off, I think I got it off Amazon. It was white. It was cute. It was about, it was a little bit smaller than my phone, I think. And I think I still got it around this house somewhere. (laughs) It's going to be a, um, one day it's going to be a collectible. Um, cause I don't throw stuff like that away. So it's around my house somewhere. It's probably in a drawer somewhere. But anyway, I started out doing video back then. I did not understand the power of what video would become. And video has changed so much over the over the years. And um, most of us know about YouTube and then TikTok and Facebook and, and, and um, Instagram. We know about that. But there's a platform called Vimeo that a lot of people just don't know about. A lot of people do know about it, but a lot of people don't know about it. And the reason that a lot of people don't know about it is because Vimeo was created for filmmakers by filmmakers because they wanted a platform where they could display their content. And so when I learned about Vimeo, we were launching our TV network called HerTube TV Network. And we wanted a platform that would allow us to store videos and not really have to worry about it. We also wanted to, at that time, there was a software that I was using to to stream my videos to, to Roku television and to Amazon. And so to use that, to use that particular software, I needed to have a Vimeo pro account. I don't even know if that company is still around. It's called, um, God, what was it called? Instant TV. I think it was called instant TV. Um, it allowed you to, it might instant TV channel. That's what it was called. So back then I built, I built my, I built my Roku channel And I built my Amazon channel with a platform called Instant TV Channel that relied that relied on pulling content. I know this sounds very technical, y'all. Just bear with me. I'm gonna tell y'all why I like Vimeo. I was using a a software. It was an ugly software, but it did the job. And you had it had a learning curve. It had a huge learning curve, and you I had to sit there. It took me three months to get it working right. And once I got it working right, it was great. But um, I used Instant TV Channel to create a, and it was, it was like the back end to the software. So it was like a back end. I've been, I've been messing around with computers for a long time. It was the back end to my TV channels on Roku and my back end to my TV channel on Amazon. And so I used that platform for the back end. I used Vimeo for the storage and the front end on online. So online, you can go to my Vimeo channel. You can see my content on television, you can go to Roku and Amazon Fire TV and see it. And the engine behind that was a was a platform called Instant TV Channel. That's what I used. So in order for me to do that, I had to have a Vimeo Pro account, right? And I put out so much content. But here's what's interesting about Vimeo. Vimeo, my my the program, the, the package that I, I purchased was $199 a year. And it's been $199 since I started. And it allowed me to do what I needed to do, which was syndicate my shows to Amazon Fire Sticks and Roku, which was great. And so what I learned though over the years is that Vimeo was pushing a lot of traffic to my videos. I'm talking about a lot. Now what I've, what I've noticed lately is that 
I'm still getting about 70,000 views a month where I was originally getting like 100, 200, and 50, 200, 150. So my viewing has been cut in half. And I was like, huh? Now I'm wondering, is that because I'm just on the lower, the lower tier plan um, versus where I was before? Because I was getting mad hits, right? Now, the reason I'm sharing this with you guys is because right now, Everybody loves YouTube and don't get me wrong. YouTube is amazing for a bunch of different reasons, right? But when it comes to being seen, if you're not making like a million, um, a million, uh, uh, one hour, one, I mean, 60 second videos and things like that, you, you just don't get it. Now, let me give y'all a prime example of why this is important. So I did an interview with, um, Sandra Mad Madeir, right? She's a photographer. I did an interview with her about, about three, four weeks ago. And that interview got 471 views on Vimeo. Now, I put that same video on YouTube. I think it might have eight. All right. It may have eight. I get between, I used to get, I used to get a lot. I used to get a lot of, a lot of views. I'm thinking they have changed the algorithms or something because I used to get a lot, lot, lot. Um, the last, let me, let me look at the last 365 days. Let me see what my numbers are. I think people sleep on, I think people sleep on Vimeo because you have to actually play. So over the last year, I have amassed 2.2 million views on my content. Yeah. Yeah. 2 million views over the last year from May 30th of last year to May 30th today, I have gotten 2 million views. That is amazing. That's amazing. That's amazing. And, and a lot of those millions are from re- repeat visitors. People that keep coming back to the channel to watch. Now, 1.8 million of those views came from the United States, and 1.9 million watched it on their on their desktop, on their computer, sitting in front of their desk. How about that? 6.6 thousand watched it on Roku and 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 Fire Stick, um, and 307 people watched it on their phone. 1.9 million people sat at their computer and watched my content. That's amazing. I. I've been on YouTube since inception. I have never gotten to 1.9 million views. I think the most I've gotten to is 30 some thousand. Let me say that again. I've been on YouTube since 2006. The most views from 2006 to today. What is that? What is that? 17? What is that? 17 years? What is that? 2006, 2023? Yeah, that's like 17 years. The most views I've gotten is about 30 some thousand. So I'm telling you from, from one year, from May 30th of last year to May 30th of this year, I've had 2 million views on my content. 1.9 million of those are on is people sitting in front of their computer at their desk. It's not even on their phone. That's the crazy thing. It's not even on their, they're sitting at a computer at a desk and they're watching my content. So that's powerful, y'all. That's a lot of eyeballs. And so people sleep on Vimeo because you have to pay for the, you have to pay for the service. I don't mind paying $199 a year. I don't mind because to get 2 million views to content that I produce now, now that I'm looking at this number from a year ago, I need to make that 4 million this year. I got to figure out how to do that because we, I need to double that number. It, now this has got me excited. So what is Vimeo? So Vimeo was started by video creators, by film creators who wanted to display their content. So that when they built the platform, they built it with them in mind, but it became a platform for anybody to upload videos for free. And so I started out at, on a free plan, but I quickly realized that I needed to be on a paid plan so that my, my videos can be seen on Roku and Amazon Fire TV, which I haven't, that was fine because $100 $99 a year. I spend that, you know, a week, a month at the eating out, if not more. So it made sense for me to do that. Um, what I realized though, was that I wasn't really leveraging this platform like I should have. And I, and now looking at that 2 million views from a year ago, I'm about to pee my pants. Cause I really am not leveraging it. Now I got to figure out how to get back up to that 150,000 a month mark because I was at, we were doing about 150,000 views a month sometimes 200,000. And, um, matter of fact, let me see what I did back in. Um, let me see what I did back in. Let me go back to January. Cause I think I had a big number in January, January one to February 28th. Let's see. And I'm in my account. Okay. See, this is what I'm saying. So this is what I did. This is what I got for the, and this drops, this dropped drastically. I need to find out why. So from January 1st, to I'm gonna do I'm gonna do I'm gonna do over this from January 1st to February 28th this year, 
my videos got 307,000 views. 307,000. 290,000 of those people were living inside of the United States. 305,000. Now listen to what I said. We got 307,000 views. January to February of this year. 307,000 views. 305,000 were people sitting at their desk watching the shows. 305.9,000 were people sitting at their desk. So I want you to understand the power of Vimeo. Vimeo is powerful. Now, for some reason, the numbers have dropped. I don't know why. Um, we I hadn't put up a lot of content, but you better believe, baby, I'm about to go become a content monster because right now I'm seeing, I'm seeing something I, I hadn't even paid attention. See, this is what I'm saying. I haven't even paid attention to this, but I know my numbers were good because I would go drop in and see, oh, I'm doing 250. January, we did 307,000. That's a lot. Now I got to go back and figure out, okay, I need to do this again, you know, um, so look at the, look at the platform. Now Vimeo offered, and they're not paying me. I'm just telling you because this to me, if you're trying to build a brand and 307,000 people seeing your content in one month, that's something to be said. You know what I'm saying? That's something to be said. So, uh, I want you to take a look at that and see exactly what you're doing. And I, and I have, a, I have a lot of content on my channel. I really do a lot, a lot. Um, but let me just tell you some of the things that you can do with, with, um, with that, with, with, with Vimeo. What I like now, now I'm really thinking about how to really leverage this, like for real. It has interactive video that you can use. You can do live streaming. You can do screen recording. It even has a creator, uh, a, a creator, create video maker, a video maker inside the platform now, which is nice. It has an online editor. All of that is right inside this platform. This is a powerful platform. It is really a powerful platform and I, I feel bad that I've been sleeping on it. Um, you know, and your plan, you got to pick a plan that's going to encompass everything you need. You can live stream. I live stream. I, 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 when I, when they, when they introduced live stream and it was a little bit expensive for me, I was like, man, 75 at now is now it doesn't seem like that much because I paid 50. But then when I, when they first introduced live stream, I'm like, man, $75 a month. I don't need that. I'm going to find something else to do. Right. I don't need that. Now, you know, I'm like, ah, I should, yeah, I should switch over. I just happened to like stream yard for, for live streaming, but there's a lot you can do with this platform. And I want you guys to take a look at it. So listen, I'm going to go to, a, um, I'm going to go to a song and I'm going to come back and talk a little bit more about Vimeo and some of the attributes and features that I think will be very helpful to you for growing your business. Stay tuned.
Welcome back. Welcome back. It's your girl, Audrey Bell Kearney. We're talking about video marketing. Um, one of the things that I, I like about video is that you can create pictures with, you can create visualizations for what you're trying to put out. Um, this platform right here is just doing amazing things. Like it has a video creator built into it, which I think is a, just amazing where you can actually go on there and create your channel on the, on the, on the platform and then create the videos and put them on the platform. Like, I just think that is just amazing. Um, you can make beautiful videos and post them right inside your channel and get views on those things. Now here's a, here's a great thing about videos too. Even if you don't use Vimeo's platform to create videos, there's so many wonderful platforms out there where you can create videos that you can use to, um, interact with people. You can create videos as entertaining for folks. You can create videos as educational for people and you don't even have to be on the camera. They're called, they're called faceless videos. The thing that's important is the message. Let's say for instance, you wanted to put out an inspirational video every day. You can do that. You can put out videos every day about anything on these platforms. Now you do need a paid plan if you want to, you know, if you really want to grow, but let's say you just want to be inspirational. You want to put out you know, something that's going to inspire somebody. It It's a, it's a great platform, right? It's a great platform to put your message out there. One of the things I love about, um, one of the things I love about video is that with this amount of views, I'm going to tell y'all I'm about to up, up my game. So a year ago we did a million to 2 million, like 2 million views. I'm sitting there like 2 million views. I got 2 million views. I spent, I spent more time in the wrong place. I already see that. Um, but, but you can create with their video, create all kinds of videos. You can create videos for your e-commerce business. You can create videos for your fashion business. If you got a sports business, sports and fitness business, they got templates for that. Um, if you got a travel business, if you got an automotive business, they got a, they got a, they got videos for that. They got marketing videos. You can create social media videos. They create this platform because they wanted you to be able to not only create videos to put on the platform, but be able to use the platform to create videos to put on your other platforms like Facebook and Instagram and LinkedIn and Pinterest and TikTok and Twitter and YouTube and you know, all in this space is so many places you can put out. I'm going to talk about another, another platform tomorrow. I'm going to stay on the video vein for a minute. Another video platform that a lot of people just don't know about. And I, and I'm going to tell y'all a story about that tomorrow, how I came to know that platform and what that platform did for us. Um, I've been in this game a minute and Vimeo is hands down one of the, one of the best platforms out there. Um, if you're looking to be a real video brand, right? Yes. YouTube is amazing, but YouTube is crowded and it's crowded because it's free. Like for, for people to just put content up, it's free. Just pop up a channel, put it up and they're going to run ads on your, on your content. And you know, you got to get to a certain amount of views and all this stuff before you actually make money from the content that you put out on YouTube. That's the downfall for me. Like if I'm putting content out and people are watching it and then you're running ads to it and I don't make a dime until I get to 10,000 this and a million ad and 700, that's a lot. There are no ads on your content on Vimeo because you pay to be on there. And that's why it's not oversaturated because people don't want to pay the money because they're used to free, right? So people are used to free. So it's not overly saturated because nobody wants to pay the money. And the more you want, the more tools you want, the more money you have to pay. And so if you are serious about creating a video business and you're not on YouTube or you don't like YouTube, not everybody likes YouTube. I happen to love watching it. You know, it's a struggle trying to get content up there. Cause I'm, I'm always playing around in my head. Like, man, I'm putting all this content out. And if they decide to send me eight, eight visitors, you know, is that going to help me? You know, over here, I'm, I'm getting 60, 70,000. And now I'm upset because now I'm getting 60, 70,000. When in January of this year, I got 300,000. I got to figure out what happened. I got to figure out what happened with that. So that's, that's my task for today. So think about your video, your video plan. Like, what does that look like for you? Which platforms are you going to be on? It's so many of them. You know, YouTube, of course, is one. Everybody knows about TikTok and Instagram and Facebook and LinkedIn. Now Pinterest. Pinterest even got Pinterest TV. And I'm, a, I'm an approved... Um, I'm going to prove Pinterest TV, uh, streamer. I don't even know what that means. I, I just know that I can stream live on Pinterest, which is kind of cool, but I don't, I don't even frequent Pinterest that often. Um, there's so many platforms for you to leverage out there. And 
you know, you got to put together, put together a plan though. Like even when I do put out my videos, like right now I'm doing a lot of interviews on talk business with Audrey. And what I do with those videos is I take the videos, I interview these amazing women because they're a member of the Gwinnett Women's Chamber of Commerce, which is where I'm, I'm the president there. I take their content and I help them create visibility by doing the videos live. The, the videos are live on LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, um, and Amazon. So they got live videos and then I take the recording of those videos and I put it on YouTube. It's live streamed on YouTube too, but then I take it and chop it up into small once, you know, one, three, one to three minute videos. And then I put it, put those on YouTube, um, just to give more exposure to what we're doing as women in business. Right. So it, you have to have a strategy. That's my strategy right now. But now I'm about to, I'm about to double down on Vimeo though. Like I'm sitting over here looking at my numbers like, wait, what happened? I got to figure that out. So put together your video strategy. Pick a video platform, pick a video style. What are you doing? Are you doing talk shows? Are you doing reviews? Are you putting out trailers? What are you doing? Are you, are you doing 30 second, you know, uh, blurbs? What are you doing? Are you putting out vid videos about education? Are you a fashion video, vi uh, video producer? What are you doing? Are you just promoting? Are you a coach that's want to coach? They want to coach your people. They're looking for you. And, they, and over on Vimeo, they're watching on their computer. Now, I could tell you, um, I don't know how many people uh, watch on their computer for YouTube, but I'm looking at what, what the numbers are saying for me. So think about how to leverage this platform. Yes, you got to pay some money, right? My plan I play is not, my the plan that I have chosen is $199 a year. However, however, looking at my numbers right now, I'm about to go to the next plan, which is $600 a year. I'm on my way to that plan because I'm, I'm thinking like, wait a minute, what's going on here? I have to find out what I need to do to, to leverage this platform even more than I already have. And so that's exciting. That to me is exciting. Yes, I have a ton of content on that. A lot, a lot of content on my channel, a lot of it. Um, that's because we put out a lot and we've been putting out a lot for the last 10 years. So I can't even tell you how many videos I actually have on the channel because it's so many. Let me see if it is a number actual see the other thing about vimeo that you guys may not know is that vimeo has vimeo on demand and vimeo on demand i have 826 videos in my account i just wanted to see what that number was i'm almost at a thousand videos on my account so that's why i have so much um so much so much traffic i have 826 videos in my account um the other thing about Vimeo is that they have a Vimeo on demand platform. So even if you wanted to charge, let's say you wanted to start a Vimeo channel and you wanted to charge for your videos, you can sell your videos. Like we have a on demand platform. Our on demand platform is called, um, her tube, right? And it's on TV. And we set that up eight years ago and you go over to the page and you actually can subscribe to the page. And it's so funny cause I forgot we had that. You can subscribe to the page um, it's five ninety nine a month, right? It's a subscription and it's outdated. We haven't put anything up there in forever, but we have followers. We have followers and we have people paying. I need to go check the account cause I stopped checking. Um, but we have followers. So they have an on demand platform and you can go there and you can actually put your stuff on demand. So if you are doing trainings and things like that, that is another way for you to add another line of revenue to your to your bottom line and you can actually have people go to your Vimeo page and pay for on demand subscription service, just like a YouTube. I mean, just like a Netflix and they can watch it. We already know from our stats that they're watching on their computer. So why not just have them? Why not just create an on demand page where all your videos are on demand? It's about you training and all those good things. So that's a great place for you looking for a platform to put your content on. This may be the perfect platform for that. So take a look at Vimeo. If you guys have not come up with a video strategy, think about what your video strategy is. I'm going to create a video strategy and drop it in the, um, on the website with this episode. So about probably around 12 o'clock, you can read that episode. You can check out the strategies that I put there and see some, um, some of the tools that you can use as well. And, um, yeah, I hope this helped. I know it's kind of felt like I was rambling, but I love Vimeo. I've been using it quite a bit quite, for quite a long time. And I just think it's an amazing platform and it has come so far since I started using it. I, I just look at all the tools and everything that, that are available. It just, it makes me want to, it makes me want to do more on this platform, not make me, I'm going to do more on this platform. So this is interesting, but anyway, I'm going to go to my last song. Then I'm going to come back and give you my words of inspiration for today. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. 
Oops, wait a minute. I forgot the song. What's my song? Hold on. Here we go. Welcome back. Welcome back. So listen, guys, that's all I got for you today. But before I go, I want to give you my word of inspiration. Here it goes. It says, there's no path to peace. Peace is the path. Oh, let me say it again. There is no path to peace. Peace is the path. Gandhi said that, and I believe he was right. You know, we're always searching for peace. I know I am. Let me say that. I'm always searching for peace, but I think peace is a state of being. Like you just have to make up your mind that you want to be at peace. You know, we're ser- we're searching for peace. I know for me, I'm always, oh, I'm, like, I'm, I'm searching for peace. And I realize peace, peace is a state of being. It just is. And you just have to say, you know what? I'm going to be, I'm going to be at peace today. And that's it. But, but light gets in the way and sometimes it knocks you off your peace game. And so you go searching for peace again, instead of just being in a place of peace. Peace is the path. You know, peace is the path. You can just be on that path and be peaceful. You don't have to, you don't have to, um, you don't have to search for the path. Just say, you know what? I'm, I am peace. I am peace. Um, decide to be peaceful. You can make a decision that, you know what? Today is going to be a peaceful day. No matter what. I know people try to get on your nerve. I get it. (laughs) Trust me. I do. People want to dump their problems on you. I get that. I get it. That, That interrupts your peace, right? Here's the thing. Block them out. Listen to what they have to say and then get back to peace. That's all. 
That's all I got for you today. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you spent the last 55 minutes with me. And I love and appreciate you for that. If you miss any episodes of the show, go to goodmorninggwinnett.com to listen to past episodes there. And be sure to check out the article. I'm going to write the article in about an hour. It'll be on the Good Morning Gwinnett website with the with the video strategy for you to take a look at and um, implement if you can. Take what you need from that and implement it into your business to help you grow. Um, if you like this episode, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I, that you, when you subscribe, it helps the channel out. It helps me grow. Also, if you really like the show and you want to buy me a cup of coffee, there's a link in the description that says, that says buy me a cup of coffee. If you're looking for more leads for your business, go down below in the description. It says get more leads. That's 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 a software that's going to help you, a program that's going to help you get more leads. And if you're just looking for a job, like where you're, I don't want to be a business owner, there's a company that's hiring. The link is in the description below. So click that link to get you a job. It's a work at home job, so you can do it remotely, but um, it's in there. All right, that's all I got. I'll be back again tomorrow at 10 a.m. God willing, you guys stay safe out there. And until next time, my friends, until next time, make it a great day. Bye, y'all. You've been listening to Good Morning Gwinnett. Make sure to tune in Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time to find out what's happening around Gwinnett. If you like this episode, subscribe now and share with your friends. To learn more about Noise Media Network, visit noisemedia.us.